IS 37 paragraph 10 defines a contingent asset which has three important elements in the definition. These are a possible obligation that will be confirmed by the occurrence or non-occurrence of one or more uncertain future events and these are not necessarily within the control of the entity. For example, Raja Hindustani is an Indian restaurant that serves exclusive Indian cuisines using secret family recipes. Recently, the former head chef started work with a competitor and the menu included dishes that were an exact replica of some of the secret dishes. Raja Hindustani initiated a lawsuit against the competitor. Should it win the lawsuit, it will receive compensation from the competitor. How should the compensation from the lawsuit be classified? The compensation would be in the form of cash and cash is an asset. However, Raja Hindustani does not know at this stage if it would actually receive compensation. So it's a possible asset. The existence of this asset would depend on the court's ruling in favor of Raja Hindustani. So this would be considered an uncertain future event. Further, the ruling is to be made by the courts and is not within the control of Raja Hindustani. Thus, the compensation would meet the definition of a contingent asset in terms of IS 37. We now need to consider how to treat the contingent asset. To do this, we need to consider the probability criterion. There are three classifications for the probability criterion. That is, virtually certain, which indicates that this is extremely likely or highly probable. When the flow of economic benefits are virtually certain, then the item is not a contingent asset, but rather should be recognized as an asset. The second classification is probable. This means that the flow of economic benefits are likely, but less than virtually certain. If this classification is applicable, disclosure of the contingent asset is required. The third classification is not probable. As the name suggests, it is not likely that economic benefits will flow. When this classification is applicable, the contingent asset does not require disclosure. Assume that Raja Hindustani's lawyer advised that, based on past trends and similar lawsuits, there's a 60% chance of the lawsuit being successful. How should the contingent asset be treated in the counting records? As a general rule of thumb, the flow of economic benefits that are greater than 50% is considered probable. Thus, in terms of IS 37, paragraph 34, the compensation from the lawsuit against the competitor should be disclosed in the accounting records at year end. To recap, contingent assets are possible obligations that only require disclosure when the flow of economic benefits are probable.